Here we go. Page 10, line 8, starting at when in. What happened last? Um, somebody was milking milking exotic animals to, to get some milk to apply to the eyes, if I cor remember correctly. Um, right. So Horace chopped off his mother's head and ran up the mountain with it. And then Ra got upset about this and sent everyone out route to look for him. And Seth found him plucked out his eyes, planted them, from which some flowers grew. I don't remember what flowers they were, daisies or something. And then went back and lied about not having found Seth, not having found Horus. And then Hathor went to rescue them, and she found him lying on his back with his eyes plucked out. That's right. That was here. And then we had last time that she was milking, what was the element, uh, the animal uh, Bubalis? She turned herself uh, into yes, oh, a oh. gazelle. A gazelle. It was a gazelle, right? It was a gazelle. Yeah. yeah. The right. That's what this animal here must be. The gas, gasset. Yeah. And then she basically told Horus, "Open your eyes. I'm going to give some some milk therein." And well, here we go. The air tech. I have to say, I find the sequence really confusing because normally when and ear are different words. Mm. <laughs> like she's saying, open your eyes, not it happened that it was done, which is what normally when you see those words. And I guess they're spelled a little differently, but. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, one thing she says, open your eye very clearly, right? It's not two of them. It's only one. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And she says it before she, has she applied the milk already? Let's see. You said no, I don't think so. No. She's just I mean she keeps saying them. it over and over, so I assume like open your eye is an idiom for right. But it's clearly we're, not we're gonna do something open. about this. Right. But it's not a future or something. She's not saying I am or I will be opening your eyes because there's clearly a little imperative particle here. Uh yeah. yeah. So there's just no way to misunderstand that, I think. Um so yeah, who knows? Open your eyes so I can put the milk in them. That's right. Which you don't have right now, technically, because they were taken out. So I'm not sure how that works. It's also kind of gruesome. I'm not sure. I want to imagine how that works. <laughs> not think about it too carefully. <laughs> open your eye sockets. Well, he still has his eyelids. I mean, exactly. Still so open and <laughs> would you keep those closed when the? Like I said, I don't want to imagine that. It's kind of it's the stuff of certain movies. Maybe it's different for gods. It always is. <laughs> so who wants the first one? I guess I could try. All right. Uh, so when in F hair, when ear deaf, US deet na yart im. Okay. So, uh, and so. And so then he opened his eyes, or his mm -hmm. eye, mm -hmm. and and after that, the U.S. she uh, she put or she did the milk in them, mm -hmm. or she put the milk in, I guess. Im, and then you said erdita. I can't remember which of these were what these words are. But this is the West word, the word for right, but west or something. Numb. Uh, for 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 right. Um, okay, she put the right one, and then she put it in the left one. I guess that's indeed what it is, and I can never remember what Coptic is different. I forgot what what left is in Coptic, but it's not Semich. It's a shimahi. Yeah, shimahi. Okay. Shimihi. And maybe that. Okay, work. and then. Oh, go ahead. No, sorry. Should I keep going or? Let's do one thing real quick. Uh, let's look at the word for right. Um, yeah, that's, that's good. I, here it is. I, I recognize I the standard it, for West, but. Yeah, I love that it uses West, the, uh, the you know, hieroglyph for West and right. You know? Right. Right. And so I've you're happened... going down the Nile canonically. Mm -hmm. And there is some dispute Up about what exactly the, the connection between those two is uh, West and. Um, 
and right. To me, it seems like at least the Egyptians, just from based on the spelling, associated them a long time ago. So if they're not etymologically connected, they're at least folk etymologically connected. Um, I know, however, there are some arguments around that. I remember an exchange uh, online with Christian about the pros and cons, and I don't quite remember the conclusion, but what I do remember is they're phonetically so similar, and apparently the guys themselves thought they, they were connected. I just connect them in my mind because it's easy to remember. I wish it worked the same way for the left. It doesn't. Um, but yeah, Coptic would be, um, I believe, hang on. Should be this one. No, it isn't. Great. Why not? Um, Can you just search for right? I do. The yeah. funny thing is, um, English and French search takes three times to four times longer than Coptic search. If you know the Coptic word, uh, the Coptic dictionary is way faster. I'm not quite sure why that is. Hmm. Oh, Unam, not Winam. I somehow smuggled a... Uh, Unam. There we go. Unam is the right hand. Um, yeah, on the right. E Unam, Sa Unam, He Unam, all more or less the same thing. Cool! Um, and I have a vague recollection that like ancient Egyptian maps would put south up. So upper Egypt is at the upper part of the map. And so west would be on the right hand side. But I don't know if that's how consistent that is. Is that true? Um, I only know one. How many maps? I, have, I know one. Probably not very many. <laughs> and there is one, the Turin map papyrus. And that's of the Wadi Hamamat. Um, hope I spelled that right. There are several different terrain papyruses. You want to be careful which one you pick. Um, there's also the erotic terrain papyrus, in case you're wondering why I'm smoking. So um, that clearly is a map of that that uh, wadi that goes all the way out to the sea. Um, which is right, kind of regional maps aren't necessarily going to be oriented the same way. Oh, well, you're right. Um, so that's the one map I know. There may be more like temple sketches and the like so it's south is up huh that would make well that's what i remember but i, I have no sources so okay very cool let's just run with oh the top of the map is toward the south so definitely this one this oh, one oh, even this let's, one okay let's conform to what you what you just said kind of cool all right back to our text so what would that mean if the south is up um and west is right yeah so if you're facing towards southern egypt up the nile to your right is west cool okay got it nice so that that fits even better huh. interesting um I, i'm just wondering whether if you're following the nile the source of the nile is somewhere in africa isn't it east africa so it would make sense to follow the river. I think that's that's that that uh, is the the assumption. I think it was somewhere here as well, if I saw it right. Um, that goes to the source of the Nile or the sources of the Nile. Um, yeah, no, that makes sense. I mean, it seems logical. Very cool. All right. Should we go on to your point, Ralph? I think we could. Want to take this a bit further? Okay, so she put the milk in the right eye, and it will in the right, and then she put it in the left. Mm -hmm. Then Eus Herjedef, so she, or Jed Inef, and so then she said to him, mm -hmm. Ewen Irtek, so open your eye, Euf Win Ir F, and then he opened his eye. Mm -hmm. You said. Peter, Peter F. She looked at him. I guess. Yeah, you said Peter F. And I, I was confused by the dot F there, but that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, but then she looked. She looked at him. She saw him, and then Gim Su. Uh, and this is Ramsey says this is Mintek or Minek. Minek. So mm. it's and Gardner has a sick over the the st glyph there so but then she found it healed i guess or she found them healed right 
She found oh, a petite. That. I looked at one up. So Mina yeah. can be, you can mimic a building. You can complete a building or a monument. Okay. You can mimic your lifetime. Um, and you can also mimic hmm. um, uh, like your, your uh, school education, basically. Those are all things that you can mimic. Um, it should have a queue at the end. And uh, one suggestion I have was sure. could be going on. What would Q look like in um, in the era that we're talking about? Let's see if I can get oh. that. It's very hoopy, right? Yeah. Oh. yeah. I mean, it would look pretty much. So you think maybe that's a Q? I think it's just a, a very tall Q and there's maybe a little bit missing on the top would be my hypothesis. Because then it suddenly makes sense. Um, and if we zoom in a bit, I mean, is there some? It doesn't look rounded at all to me. Like, but maybe. I mean, unless it's flaky. But honestly, there's also this this um, this crossbar over here, right? Almost looks like he was trying to write set. Um, yeah. Yeah. Or is so. However, we want to. Yeah, is six. Um, so would have been a a typo by by our ancient friend here as well. Because, yeah, it doesn't look like something flaked off here. Hard to see with that resolution, but then there shouldn't be so much ink here. It should be... I think he may yeah. have misspelled it, honestly. Yeah. I mean, this sign can have another reading I recently found out. I, I didn't notice that until we got to that point in Allen where... What was it again? Was it Tem? Het? I forgot. This has like a weird reading. Um Oh, Hatem. Yeah, isn't it Tem or something? It's yeah. like this completely nonsensical. It's a tri. It's a triliteral Hatem, like dotted H T M. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, that's why I'm. It's but... rare. It's rarely used that way, but it is definitely used. Ah, neat. Okay, but so no, I don't think but there's. That doesn't fit Cool. All right. Well done. Okay. Anything to say about this grammatically? Can we talk about the gem again? Like gem sum neck? Yeah. That one's the annoying one, isn't it? So Yusi Petre. Yusi Petre. Uh, she was upon and she was upon seeing. That's an infinitive then. Seeing him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Gem su. So su is an in is a dependent pronoun, so find him. This can't be an infinitive. It has to be something else. Um it has to be a verb. Yeah, it has yeah. That's somehow right. a separate clause. Hmm. Like is gem completing peter or like Minek is clearly completing gem. So I took that as a complementary infinitive. I don't know if that's even a thing in Egyptian, but hmm. the thing is just gem can't be an infinitive. That's the annoying thing. So yeah. So what else could it be? It could be a stative. But then this hmm. would have to refer to her. Where at least like an older grammar, you would expect some kind of T form, right? Like Gem T or something, which is not what it is. It's just gam, a straight gam. Um, it's an imperative, um, you know, in order. It, it could be absolutely. I mean, grammat from from the form, it could be find him. Uh, like if somebody were to explain that, find him, uh, like completed, like fully fully restored. The only thing is, there's no no. I mean, the the closest verb of speaking is over here. Otherwise, grammatically, you're, you're right. That could work. Um, Textually, though, I don't think it does. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. It doesn't fit to what happened just before. I mean, you really want to say, and she found him complete, right? That's what you really want, want, want it to be. Could it be Gemus? Like, she found him, and it's just that the second sir is missing because there is one. Like, often when you have two two times the same sound in a row, they drop it. That's another possibility. Although then it's kind of like a naked Sejimer form without anything before it, which is also a bit weird. I mean, if it's if it's a sequence of UF, UF, US, etc., you would think it would just be 
U.S. Hmm. Or Can the... you group two verbs together like this, like the pet, the petter and the gem? Can you, if you have two verbs that close together, can you just sort of assume that the same subject is there, like you would normally do with M two, right? You would connect with an M two to keep the the subject and attach it to the following verb. Can you do that without and just link two verbs and and keep the sub carry over the subject? Like you can can link nouns, right? By just putting them. Right, one after another without an end in between. Yeah, yeah, because there's only the F that comes between them. I would claim you can't. And the other problem... I yeah, I don't know that you can. I'm just trying to figure out a solution. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that. Should we, should we cheat? Yeah. Um, let's see what they have. And she said to him, open your eyes. And he opened his eyes. Then she saw him or looked at him. Okay. So I guys have to move you. Otherwise, I can't get to the button. Um, mm. And so they make it into so a... they say there's an elated Sejimaf. Okay. Yeah. A completely naked Sejimaf without anything. Maybe that's... Let's see what... Does Ellie have anything? I mean, never hurts to get a second opinion. Uh, Egypt, late Egyptian, too many papers. Um, Ellie, where are you? Stories and poems. No, not Gardner, go away. Here we go. Um, and this would be... Where 10.9. That's right, 10.9. Horus and Seth, 10.9. So a bit further. And if any of you had like another translation, we can, I mean, we could always look at Gardner, I think. Uh, 10.9. Uh, here we go. Oh, okay. And read that yet, so that should be interesting. What does he say? Um, you have her when irtev, you say her petrev. Gimme, so he, he does the same thing, he thinks it's a it's an S, um, that's mm -hmm. missing. Elotrovo sanato, and she found him uh restored or healed. Okay, Simpson has something very similar. She told him, open your eyes. He opened his eyes. She looked at them. So they have the dot F as the eyes, since the eyes seem to be singular here. Mm -hmm. And then is it eyes feminine? Eyes feminine, yeah. Eyes feminine, okay. so that doesn't make sense. Well, that's weird. Okay. And then they have semicolon. She found that they were healed. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. Mm. He makes a clause out of Menek. So far, three for three, they all do. So I guess I'll go with that. And once we get in the room, we get to how you can build and not build clauses. Um, okay, we'll have to wait on that. Maybe, maybe, maybe is, we can have a better idea. I mean, I think sooner or later, the more you read, the more you get a hang of it. I, I wish I was there. I'm not yet. But I mean, one thing that I'm, you know how I always like to put punctuation marks? Maybe it's where you would really put like a colon. Is that a colon? The, the double dot. Um, mm -hmm. In English, like she looked at him and she found he was healed. By, it could almost be like this, but I'm not sure if Egyptian works that way. It, it just feels like humanly logical to do that. But is that how you construct a, a proper sentence? I don't know. I think we'll, we'll find out. Well, no, that's really the bugbear in the sentence, I think. What's that? What's that? That gem? So maybe Gemes yeah. or Gemus, if we trust that vowel. And cool, the rest is pretty straightforward, isn't it? The rest is just her plus infinitive, her plus infinitive, her plus infinitive. Anything about the yeah. the hieratic? Let's see. When enough, her, when. Okay, here we have a lot of the the door, how it's written. 
interesting. So like like an N with a little squiggle to indicate the the bottom part of the the door. Um, Irtef, his I, U.S. or Yuse, D, N, Eratet. Again, no major surprises here. A little jar here. Im. Also regular, nothing too surprising. You say D L Ta. Now it gets interesting. Did we have the West before? I think this is the first time we see that one. I think. So that's kind of cool. Maybe, yeah. So highly abbreviated. Doesn't even bother with a little shoe feather on top at all, but just horizontal and then this kind of double stroke, almost looking like an S. Okay. Um, yeah. So we numb or whatever it is. Um, this here just looks like a regular hand, doesn't it? Or is there more? Is this meaningful? Uh, we'll see I don't know how the arm... Should we look up the arm? If you have the glyph number... <laughs> Well, I'm not sure that's the right transcription, actually, because Gardner just has an an eye, um, like a regular hand. Oh, okay, interesting. So that I may mean, be a transcription error. I mean, it should be that special hand. Let's see if they look different in in hieratic. So yeah. that's D forty one. And yeah, look at that. It has an extra. You wouldn't have that. Okay. So, that whole shoulder. Yeah, it has a shoulder. Exactly. That's the shoulder. Thank you. I was thinking, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> it has a shoulder to it. So that's cool. So actually our transcription is right. Nice. Huh. It's like kind of like a reverse K in a way, huh? Like flip bond. Mm -hmm. ah, maybe not the best way to remember it, but okay. So we have that. That's a good learning. Use it. Deet. Error. This almost looks like plural stroke, but it's a, it's a ta. Ta. Ta semhi. Sem again, this. That's presumably the same arm again. Mm -hmm. Same arm. Use her ja en naf e wen. You can see the, the door, whatever that is. That's a loon door. More clearly there. Yeah, more clearly. Isn't <laughs> yeah. It? Um, and the K actually belongs underneath. The K is underneath, yeah. yeah. When iretic, okay. You when no U F, almost missed the F here. When irtef, you say pet. This is the same thing we've discussed before. That the the petter looks has this really. He has the way of writing it. That doesn't really line up with our, our hieroglyphs, does it? So you have the P, you have, yeah, you don't really have the, I mean, this is presumably the tur, highly ligatured. It's a stroke, basically, right? Nothing else. Then comes the, the reed leaf, and then comes this kind of tur ligature, which is this. Like, this is really Yeah, with the curved top. Mm-hmm. But I've seen him do it, I think, every single time that we've found the word so far. So it's just the way he writes it. Um, beautiful Gembert. The book roll is folded into the M, like we had before. Su, we had that before as well. This is how you write it. Mun, Mun is interesting. I mean, that's not unusual either, but bears pointing out. It's something like doesn't look much like the hieroglyph. Indeed, it doesn't. It's more something like I'm not sure if this comes first or this comes later. But essentially, what you do is you take the dots on top and make them into one continuous line, which you loop back. Then you do this. Then you make the side wall, and often there's like a stroke in the middle as well. That's really what that is. This we talked yeah, about. To me, it looks like there's two like diagonal diamonds strokes at the end that are separate. Do you mean these two or? Yeah, those two, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's just the one that, that closes the box. And then there's another one in the middle, which I don't know what that actually stands for. Is that because, the, no, not really. I know why you make two, honestly. But it's not unusual. Hmm. W, the I thing again, and then our man with a stick. Okay. I think that's all I can say about it. Should we go on to the next? Yep. Great job, Ralph. Got us more than a line further. And if I ever get my screen back, I can go to the next one. So who wants the next one? I can take it. All right. Uh, when in S. Yep, that's right. Then she, uh, her shemit, uh, her jed and preharakti. Um, so then she went to say to preharakti, uh, gem her, mm -hmm. you gabul su, sutech, am irat f. So, um, I found Horace, uh, and I looked this up. I found the translation. I found something different than the translation that I think might be make more sense here. Um, cheated and cheated him, Seth of his. So Seth cheated him of his eyes. Cheated. I think the translation was something else, but I'm not. I can't remember what it. What the. What yeah, Francis was, had something uh, different. I think. To weaken or to to hurt, I believe. Um, oh yeah, hurt his eyes. But I yeah, but I found cheated in Lesko, and I thought that's sort of interesting in the context of what's happening here. Cool. Well, they're think. broken. Makes sense. Broken. Okay. Cool. I, I've seen cheated too, although I um, don't yeah. have an example sentence ready. But I know that was somewhere. I think in the TLA, this is an option. Okay. Mm -hmm. We can. Look at some more sentences in a moment, if you like, to see how, how else it can be used. Okay, so um, Seth cheated him of his eyes. Um, had, yeah, had ir, uh, iri saha, mm -hmm. um, but I did, um, I made, um, F. On um, Mech Su Yui. So I made him, or I, I, aha, uh, uh, restore, like restored, I restored him again. I guess, huh? I mean, aha is like to stand, literally. Uh, so yeah. made, made him stand up like again. Stood him up. Yeah, stood him up. <laughs> I stood him up. Yeah. <laughs> Dusted him off, put him back on his feet. Right, put him back on his feet. I stood him up again. <laughs> Look, he is coming. Yep. Is it coming or come? I think come. it's come. I think that's a yeah. uh, a state of there for for like re resultative action. He has come. All right, awesome. I think we have it all. So Gibby was really the only problem here. What does that one mean, right? So let's take a look at that. And hopefully it's on the screen already. 39 sentences, and I hope. Well, first of all, what does it say here? Um, to be weak, to be deficient, to defraud, to cheat. Those two things don't really feel like they go together. Uh, I've been having real ish trouble with the TLA for the last few weeks. Then for a week, it got better. And today it's breaking again, it seems. By breaking, I mean timeouts. Mm. Just goes into timeout. I tried VPN into Germany to see if, if I set my server to Berlin, if maybe that helps. It doesn't. So that's not the problem. Um, let's see if... I think Ram just didn't have too many examples. Let's see. Okay. I mean, there's one here, Gibby, to be, to be feeble. Um, let's try that one. 
Je suis affaibli. I am weak. Let's see what the, the context is. Ba, 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 ba. Sorry, guys. Ah, here we go. He's been in it back. Oh, look at that. That's cool. So can you bring me some some um honey? Some honey for my eyes. I'm, I keep thinking milk because we just kept talking about milk and eyes, but no, can you bring me some honey for my eyes? Um as well as some ochre. Ochre? Is that it? Is that what that is? Okay. What about but newly formed breads? And also some galen. What's galen? Galen is that eye makeup thing. Um, coal, I think we call it in English. Uh, Antimon, I guess. Um, in any case, so uh, this puppy here. We had that in one of the example sentences. Um, be quick, like, and really quick. Sips in, sips in. Um, one more time, because can't be said often enough. Am I not your father? Is ben anak pak it, or yat? Um Gerti Gebik. Okay, Biku. Um, and I am weak. Okay, dog. I guess that kind of shaming works across the generations. All right. Um, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> <laughs> then we had it. I think it's. <laughs> I can't remember if it was this word or another one, but the. I, I think there is this idea that, like, being deprived of a thing that you need to be healthy is is cheating or like it's an attack on you to be uh to not have the thing or to be weak yeah. well in if this case i think it's action. even a reinf in this case i think since seth is the agent of it that's why i feel like cheating is a good hmm. that's why at least for my translation i like cheating because it's that's seth che that's cheating him of that's his eyes seth it's not does. like it's yeah it's not like it's time or illness or something it's right. like he's being cheated of his eyes by someone particularly right we someone who is not someone who isn't above cheating oh really <laughs> you mean he would do such a thing <laughs> <laughs> not sad surely um Good point, but no, you're right. So, from that perspective, weak is kind of doesn't quite catch it, right? And the word appeared before yeah. it appeared on page four, actually. Look at that. That's our our text. Um, that's yeah. Horace speaking at that point in time, but he basically says, uh, it's not fair to me that that Seth should get the office. Ben Nefra, Ianu, Ian Yuna, Pai Kebiti, Embachta Pestjet. It's not not right to Kebi me in front of the Pestjet. So to harm me, to cheat me, to cheat. Yeah. Let's go with that. Despoil. Why despoil my son Horace? Not bad. Deprive. Deprive. I guess. Yeah. Deprive. Mm -hmm. All of the above. Yeah, something uses deprive. Yeah, uh, because if you deprive someone of their money, you're cheating them out of their money. Right. So any of those, cool. Anything else to say about this sentence, grammatically or vocabulary-wise? Straight adverbial sentence with her, right? With like an er jet, so er to indicate the purpose, to say to the like you had. Um, this year, what do we make out of that? Gem her. So are we missing the subject there again? This reminds me of the sentence before. And again with yeah. Gem. Right. I mean, I really wanted to be the Gemui. object there. I wanted to be Gamui, I found. I mean, it just makes perfect sense in that context. What else should it be, right? Mm -hmm. It could be to Rebecca's point, it could be an imperative, but this has already happened, so it doesn't make sense from context. Right. Yeah. Um, so it can really only it's be... It's less surprising that the first person suffix would be left off than the third person like it was above. Yeah, that, that is weird. At, at least in Middle Egyptian, they almost never write that anyway. Do they insert one in Ramses like they did with the the previous sentence? Mm, yes, they do. There you go. Okay, me. I mean, truth be told, in a lot of texts, the first singular is never indicated. That's fairly common. Uh, even a middle Egyptian, mm -hmm. but um, hmm, 
it's inconsistent. A lot of places they have it. I wonder if they're like phonetic reasons why sometimes you do it and sometimes you wouldn't. But I don't know, but it starts with a consonant. I mean, if it was gemui khar, it doesn't start with a yot or something. It starts with, with a kh. Mm. I don't know. But yeah, I agree. I think there's like a first person J in here somewhere. Okay. So I found Horus. And then this here is just, what is this? Um, this is another sentence, right? Yep. Yeah. And why does the sutech come second? Because it's a nominal subject. So you have to put it after the su. That's exactly what you would expect. Yeah. The dependent mm -hmm. pronoun goes before the noun, even though the noun yep. is the subject. Right. Yep. Just an is dosoa classic? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and then what else? We had in the last Nivu uh, session and. And I stood him up again. Yep. I think that's it. Hieratic. Let's take a look. Hershem. It's very well possible that they didn't pronounce the M anymore, just like in Coptic. It may already be Hishe or something. Hershem er jed en pare. Pare. Yeah, that's right. We got the, the miniature Horus there. Yeah, yeah exactly. The, that that tripped me up. I'm still not used to this. Um, but that's that special Horus. Charachti, huge gambird. Um, gem chor. Um, I don't see the... I oh, know there it is. It's just not aligned. Okay. You... Yeah, Gab Gabu, I guess. Gabu, oh, yeah. That's right. Sutech, or Sutech, depending on what you want to believe. Um, I like his tail there. I love yeah, when he does him like that. The puppy dog version, so cute. Hmm. <laughs> Um, Irtef, yeah, nothing much to say here. Her. So cool. I remember how in the first sessions we were puzzling about each and every single one of them, and now it's like, oh, yeah, sure, that's how you write it. Um, say aha, very square topped S there, but yeah, <laughs> you can really see how you make it. Yeah, it's just like this is maybe the clearest one I've ever seen, which is nice. Almost looks like a little Hebrew letter, doesn't it? Like. Uh, that iron is like on top of the walking legs at the end of the line yeah i think you just have to know <laughs> you know what it is or something mm. <laughs> agree um f on reverse walking legs and um, mick with a ligature that he always has there i think this again, you just have to know what that is. Um, Su so with the crossbar really high up. And then you, or however you want to pronounce that. Yeah, perfect. All good. Can we go back to the bin bird at the end of uh, Kabui? The buoy, the bin bird. Yeah. I, I think I followed this, but. Um... I just wanted to comment that the two strokes on top of the bird look like the wings on a bunch of other bird signs. Yep. Yeah. And so you kind of have to know that that's what you're looking at. Oh, it looks you like it's a star, doesn't probably, it? You probably have to know to expect the bin bird there because it is just sort of the L shape. But if you look at gem or if you look at paw, like they often have a very similar little squiggle that makes the wings. You're absolutely Yeah, right. definitely. Good point. Here's your paw. Yeah. And here is the bin bird with a the bad bird with and a. And so those two strokes are not the wings like they are in the paw. They are. You could absolutely be forgiven for thinking that was the paw. Yeah. By literal. I agree. 
All right. Let's go back to the beginning of this line. What? The what? okay, so the shemit. Oh. Mm. This one. The M. Yeah, is it? Does that? That is a weird one. Well, weird that we've MT seen that ligature, ligature before. The, the MT. Weird. Yeah. That one I know. Um, what that really is is your good old. So like, if you write your M like this, right? Uh, like in the shipwrecked sailor. Um, yeah. If you sort of smear that together and then put an R underneath or put a T underneath. And that's what that is here. You, you basically get that shape. Um, but so where's the T? This year. Oh, okay. What's kind of missing? If you from, say so. <laughs> what, what's missing <laughs> from my taste is the ear. Um, that's the. Yeah. There should be the horn. I mean, the 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 what you call it. The the owl should really have an ear. Yeah, the the owl should have the ears. I, yeah. I see it. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, that's what that is. Uh, am I going to call it intuitive? No. <laughs> oh, kiddo. Good points, though. Because this could also be Ud then, right? I mean, Ud looks very similar. We had one of those a moment ago. Uh, where is Ud? W-T. Could have sworn I saw one. Even further? Hmm. Apologize. I know I, s I saw one, but I, it must have been some time ago. But it, it starts to look very similar. It just has this very, um, like this puppy, but then with another T squished underneath, basically. It almost looks like that, too. But hmm. don't have an example handy. Cool. I think we can squeeze one more sentence in there. Um. You know what time you wanted? Uh, I can try. All right. So when in ta pesijad herjadim, can scroll a bit up. Like this? Or? Uh, no, upwards. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay. So it's herjadim, is uh, the imma, nash. Uh, to an her hena set weapon, weapon two. Mm -hmm. Open two, yeah, you so got it. Mm -hmm. Start was, and then the passage had said, uh, I always forget what Emma is. Give in Coptic, give. Become, uh, just give or or let that something. To give a cry to Horus and set. Cause might be a, might make more sense. Cause. Cause makes yeah. more sense. Mm -hmm. Cause, yeah. For the, for so the... cause Horus and set to be separated or? Yeah. Is it? Um... I mean, Ash is to, to say or also to read. Not sh say to to shout, right? Um, the call or call, yeah. Call also call. Read doesn't make sense, obviously. Call makes the most sense. So, ima call en her chenasitech, and then you have the problem. What do we make out of uputu? Hmm. They be pathed. They be what? I think, I think it means judge as well. I mean, separate, but also judge. That right. they be judge. Right. It, but why is it that they be judge? Oh, is this a... What is this then? Is this a... Is that a subjunctive? I don't know what that is grammatically, the Oputu. But maybe let's start with the first part. Um... So you had like you had um, then the passage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. So they cried out to Horus and said, 
I don't know. Not quite. Your first first your first approach was correct, namely the pasture said, um, "Let let that let it be called." Yeah, is that what is that two? Is that that two an imperative? Let that give that one cry out, basically, to Horace and Seth, or to Aaron's. I read the two as impersonal. Yeah. I just I I just use it to make it passive. Cause to be called. Okay. Cause to be called, Horace and Seth. Called. Cause that Horace and Seth be called. Okay. Right. Makes a lot of sense. I like that. That could be it. And then the second one is another subjunctive, that they be judged, basically. But wait, no, then. Um, that they be judged. That would require another two. Um, there is a two. There is a two. There's two, a two, and then the the, the third person or the the plural, ooh, the plural strokes make it them. Can that you... they be judged to makes it passive. Oh, is that how it works? Like, yeah. oh, wait, that that's not how it. Say, for example, if I wanted to say, "May you judge them," so that would be uputek. Then I guess su. I couldn't make it uputek u, could I? It's like two. If it's them. If it's plural, wouldn't it be? Hmm. I mean, if you wanted to say, "I want you to judge me," basically, may you judge me? I think that would be uputek we. It wouldn't be uputek e, right? You can't like string two suffix pronouns together like that. Um, but I think the two here, like sometimes people tra would translate it as uh, that one judge them. I just prefer to translate it as right. they be judged, just you're make right. it a straight passive rather than that dummy subject. I think no, uh, Alan has this message. There's a message? Or omission. Oh, messenger. Yeah. We'll put, there's another word. Assignment. Similar. Ooh. That's the noun. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Time for second opinions. Oh, wait, we're already here, aren't we? Um, ba, 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 ba. He's here, he's come. And the NAF... I actually think this is the chapter we're on in the Hoke Glyph study right now, is the passive, which is ah. why it's so fresh in my mind. Oh, nice. good. Wait, we're on that? In, in which, which, oh, Hoch. Okay, Hoch, Hoch yeah. yeah. I'm not doing that one. <laughs> okay. Um, and I'm hazy on how that works in late Egyptian, honestly. Oh, no, I think that's not the bad, dummy eh? subject that one calls. Right. So give, uh, like you said, that one calls to Horace and Seth. And then they say that's a subjunctive passive. It's exactly Aaron, what you were saying. That they be departage, technically separated, right? But then they also put jugé here, so that they be judged. I like that better. Exactly what you said. You can you can glue the W on after the um after the two like in, in classical. So that just becomes a subjunctive passive that they be judged. Oh, huh, very cool. Nicely done. Hmm. Anything writing wise? Jet we had. I don't know how um, mission works, but I've been reading those um, events translation of the letters, and a lot of them say this is a mission to the king to accept or do something. So how do you actually write that? Uh, very similar. Um, let's look it up. Oh, oh. No. Ba, 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 ba. Here's the Uputi, the messenger. Um, but that doesn't help yet. You want the message. Is that Uput? Mm, they don't have it. Interesting. Well, let's try it as a as a mission. There it is. Oh, without a U. There are two options here. Let's go for this one. Hope they have some example sentences. Um, okay, here we go. D, D, I, or something, Nak, 
Taket, interesting, has an article, Taket Uputu. So how is that different? Um, up, P, T, W, and that funky X. Where are we? Up, P, T, W, exactly the same. Same spelling. So I guess just from the spelling, you can't tell. Um, here's some more. This is even has the plural strokes here because these are machines. So I think that could be like lead and, and lead in English. You just have to know that one is the verb and one is, is, is the uh, the metal and the spelling doesn't help you at all. It's just <laughs> completely the same. Which is a bit dissatisfying, I understand, but <laughs> I think that's what it is. Um. There was an interesting question the other day where somebody had asked on Discord, what is the word for judge? And there are several, several words for judge. Um, and I think I thought one of them had to do with, with uput, but it's not the only one. They uh, mean judge the verb or judge the noun? Uh, judge the man. Uh, is that a judge? I think so. So that's one. But then you have huh. this method, which is like the, the examiner. And you also have the Sejemi, which is like the, the one who listens. And I have no idea if they mean different things. Like, are these different roles in court? Because, for example, Sumetra okay. definitely is somebody who who examines. And that could also be like a rather painful examination. Um, so that's one role. And, of course, when you think about, I don't know, the U.S. system, the U.K. system, whichever system, there, there are different roles in courts, right? You have like the... Uh, um, the prosecutor and the defense. Maybe in the German system, you have, have uh, some um, assistant judges. I wonder how all these things worked out. Like, how is an oop different from a sejemi and from a semetor? I have no idea. Mm. Very really interesting, but I'm not sure if we know enough about the court system, um, especially during this time, Remicide. There are court protocols, but they just say the following nobles were... were, were um, present at the examination and this was essentially what was found but it's not like a and sometimes you also had so he said this and this and he basically swore that and that oath or uh, he incriminated these other people that should be brought before the judge but you don't really have the deliberations of the judge i think unfortunately at least not from what i've seen it would be really cool to know more about that how did that work mm -hmm. so yeah one of the words for judge that's where how i got to this money right is is also oop Make of it what you will. It's interesting that it has plural strokes. Oh, that is interesting. Do we have an example sentence? No, of course not. That would have been, <laughs> would have been too easy. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's do the sentence <laughs> erratically, and then we can start afresh with the last line of page 10 the next time. So, real quick. When in ta chat. There was some interesting discussion the other day on another server, um, the Dominic Perry server, on like where did where does this shape come from? Actually, that looks very different uh, earlier on. Um, well, it's like a little circle with a with like a like a half moon kind of thingy. The older version. Um, can I type that? You know what? I'm going to skip it. Um, Pestjet. Kherjed Ima Ash Tru, we know all this, and like so kind of into the horror cliff here, but it's too long, so you know there's an end there. Um, yeah, but on a stick, I think there is a break there. There is a there is a break here as well. You're right. If you look really carefully, but then there's one here too. I mean, just this this horror mm. the what was the Beatles song? Uh, Feeds too big, something like that. It's just to Khena Sutech or Sutech Upu Uput. Yeah, really nothing too too earth shattering here. Uputu plural strokes. Okay, cool. Well done, well done. Shall we close here for today?
Thanks all. See you next week. For yes. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Bye.